Where is Christianity today? Complain, complain, complain. Oh, that we would be Christians. There are so many commands from God to us. Rejoice in God, be glad in God, because if we don't, we will perish. Why would you perish if you do not delight in God above all things? Because God is supremely valuable. So like his word, he is more, is more to be desired than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey. Here's the second part of the answer. When we actually taste God as precious, beautiful, satisfying, his intrinsic value, preciousness, becomes an experienced value. He made the world to go public with his value. The early Christians magnified God by delighting in God more than everything. When you headed for the prison, you looked over your shoulder and they're trashing your house. They're burning down your house. It says they rejoiced. Where is Christianity today? Complain, complain, complain. As they looked over their shoulder, they're on their way to love their brothers and sisters in prison. That's crazy. Oh, that we would be Christians. Not to delight in God is to dishonor Him. And people who live lives of dishonoring God perish. And the more you're satisfied in Him, the more He's glorified in you. When we're born again, the Spirit of God opens the eyes of our hearts to see God, to see Christ, to see His beauty, His glory in the cross, in the gospel, as more valuable, more precious, more satisfying than anything. That's how you become a Christian.